What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today, bringing you guys another episode of the Pink Slip series here on my channel. And guys, today we have an opponent that we are playing for two awesome cards. These cards combine for well over 800,000 coins of value. The two cards that I'm talking about, of course, are Golden Ticket Cam Newton and Sparkle Patrick Willis. Now, my opponent, AXNJAX, he's on Twitter. And he actually won his play-in game earlier today for the opportunity to play me for these two cards. If he wins, he does get these two cards. He risks absolutely nothing, so that's the Pink Slips concept. I want to wish him good luck, but I'm going to try and keep these cards for sure. So, talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I win this game. We'll see what happens, though. Okay, so first play from scrimmage, and typically I like to run out of this formation, which means that I am actually going to pass here on this first play to see if we can catch him off guard. Doesn't look like we got him too off guard, but that's okay. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to complete that pass, but it was not to be. Second play from scrimmage, and we are going to run the ball right down his throat. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That was a good play by him there to move his defensive tackle in the way, but we still picked up seven, so that's going to make it a manageable third down for us here. Third and three, and we are going to try and hit him with a screen pass here. Okay, look what he's doing with his left or his uh, right defensive end right now. There we go. I think we got this. There we go. Oh, I nearly broke that. I, I I noticed that he's taking his defensive linemen and kind of pulling them out of position. So that could leave us some opportunities here if he keeps doing that. All right, let's see if he takes his defensive end. Okay, so he's leaving that defensive end far out there on the right. So uh, let's see what he does here. Nope, he did not commit on the quarterback. And that's going to be a nice gain for us there. About a 12-yard gain there. Just because I saw that he's user controlling that defensive end, or at least it looks like that. He's certainly pulling him out of position. So that's going to leave the opportunity for me to get big plays if I can kind of catch him off guard. Second and five now. We're going to go with the sweep to the opposite side. And that was just horrible blocking. Who the... So after that ugly loss on second down, we are now in a third and eight situation. I do not like to be in this type of a situation. Um, this isn't the best scenario for me because it's basically an absolute passing down. I pretty much have to pass here, and I don't like doing that. Um, I, I'm fine with passing, but I don't like to be forced into it. So anyway, we do pick up the first down with a little pass to Barry Sanders, and we're going to continue moving the ball on this drive. First and ten, let's see if we can catch him off guard again. Nope, that time he did commit on the quarterback, so we are going to take the ball with Sanders, and we're going to break off. Oh, a nice, another nice gain there. That's going to put us four rushes for 36 yards after that one. We're running the ball pretty effectively here on this first drive. So unintentionally, we have basically ran out the entire first quarter, and he hasn't touched the ball yet. So I do like that. That's a good situation for me, and we're going to continue to try and run the ball here. Let's go, Barry. Oh, Big hit there by Dante Whitner, but we still pick up five. Not a bad gain for us there. Second and five, and I'm not thinking that he's going to expect this. We're going to try the QB wrap here. Let's go. Get it, Cam. Yes. Get that block. Oh, come on. Oh, at least we picked up the first down. I My players are feeling really, really slow right now. I don't know what the deal is. I'm going to try and run it in here. Let's go, Barry. Oh. Couldn't get the block there by Brian Finner, and he just doesn't seem to have the same type of blocking attributes that, like, Alshon Jeffrey did for me. But I like having him on the field because there's definitely a big-time threat of a big pass anytime that he's on the field. Second and goal now. Let's see if we can do anything here. Get it, Calvin. Oh, well, we're down at about the one-and-a-half-yard line here. And so let's try and run this ball in and try and get a touchdown here on this first drive. Get in there. Oh, that is just not good blocking. Ugh, and we're going to be forced to settle for three here on this drive. Not a good start. I am not very happy with having to settle for three right now. My guys are just not blocking at all on the outside. Brian Finnerin is doing an absolutely horrible job, and if he does not step it up, he is going to be sitting his ass on the bench for the rest of this game. Okay, first drive on defense now, and I have spent a lot of time with the football in this first half, so I'm fully expecting him to come out and pass, and of course he runs on the first play. That would happen, but that's all right. He gets only going to pick up, what, about five there, so he does have to pass the ball if he wants to get into scoring position on this drive. Come on, baby. Third down. Third and five. 
We've got a big third down stop here if we can make it. He's going to try and pass. And he goes deep. We've got Revis, though. Not going to let him complete that. That is going to be incomplete. And I wonder if he's going to punt here or if he's going to go for it. So he is going to go for it here on fourth and five at his own 25-yard line. Not the kind of thing that I usually like to see. And does he pick it up? Uh, it looked like he did. Just barely picked that up. And he's going to run hurry up. I'm not happy that he went for it. I mean, I don't really blame him, I guess. But at the same time, no. These are kind of the type of things that make me want to run up the score if I get the ball back. And he's going to continue to run hurry up offense here. He goes deep again. Wow, and his guy makes an unbelievable catch in double coverage. What am I supposed to do there? Seriously, what am I supposed to do? My guys just don't make the play on the ball. My wide receivers can't block anybody, but his guys jump up and make double coverage catches. That's awesome. Really cool. So after that frustrating catch, he does have the ball here at, what, the 29-yard line. He's in scoring position for sure. And another nice completion there by him. He is moving this ball very, very efficiently on this drive. Okay, 26 seconds left, which basically means that he's going to have to pass the ball here. So I'm going to try and drop some guys into coverage. And he's going to run a screen, which is basically the perfect play. And he did get out of bounds, but we stopped him before he got the first down and before he got into the end zone. 20 seconds remaining now on the clock here in the first half, and he's going to pass again. And that is a completion, but he's down at the one-yard line. All right, here we go. Now we need to blitz. We've got to bring the blitz here for sure. And he's going to run right up the middle, and that is going to be a touchdown. I blitzed, but we're, our guys just weren't there to make the play, and that is going to put him up as we go into the second half now. This is not going up to plan whatsoever. I'm very, very frustrated that I, that I couldn't stop him there on that drive when he went for it on fourth and five. Couldn't stop him. He made a play, threw it underneath my coverage, and picked up like five and like one inch. So, um, and then he threw a deep pass into double coverage and didn't get intercepted or have it knocked away or anything. He was just able to complete it. So that's pretty frustrating. Needless to say, I'm kind of irritated right now going into the second half and I'm about to go on tilt. I'm expecting a lot of running here in the second half as he tries to run out the clock. Uh, he can't be thinking that he's going to be able to continue to put up the type of offensive drives that he did on that first drive and score points. So again, I'm fully expecting him to run and try and run out as much clock as he can. So after an incomplete pass there on second down, we are going to bring up a third down here and 14, and we just need to stop him here. We have to stop him. We cannot let him get a completion here. Come on. Oh, I just about played just horribly there. I don't know what happened to my cornerback. It looks like he fell over or something. So it is 4th and 14, and my opponent is going for it. Um, and he doesn't pick it up, so that's awesome for me. I have no idea why he decided to go for it there. That's a terrible decision. It worked for him once, but it's not going to work again. Now it's time to make him pay for going for it on the last drive. Let's go. Let's pick up these big points here on this drive. Come on. Let's go. My gosh, these guys are so fast, it feels like. My guys are just moving at a snail's pace. I have the fastest player in the game, and he barely looks like he's even running. Second and three now after that seven-yard gain. Let's see here. we got Calvin. Oh, my gosh. Of course I take a sack. Why? Oh, I'm trying to throw the ball, and it feels like everything's going so damn slow. I don't understand what's happening. So I'm really, really frustrated that I took a sack there. There's no excuse for that. Oh my gosh, I am just playing horrible, horrible football right now, and I'm very, very unhappy with myself. Uh, and we're just going to throw it away there, because he played that perfectly on defense, and we're going to have to take three again. For the second drive now, we're going to have to take three. I'm very, very irritated right now. So we get three at least on the drive, I guess, but uh, that is not where we want to be. We need to be putting up touchdowns. I cannot believe that my players are playing so, so badly and feel like they're moving like at, it feels like they're all running in molasses or something. I have no idea what's going on. All right, back on defense and we need to force a damn turnover because this is just not going well right now. Come on, John Randall. Really, he's just gonna break like 10 tackles like that? Okay. Well, at least he lost a yard. Second and 11 now. And what is he doing here? taking his running back and putting him in motion. Oh, baby! Derek Brooks, baby! Finally, we make a damn play! 
That's what I'm talking about, baby. Derrick Brooks, the best coverage linebacker in this game. You do not test him with a running back. You do not test him with a running back. All right, so we are going to go for two here, and the reason for it is because we want to go up a full touchdown versus whatever, you know, six points isn't very helpful to us. Seven would be helpful, though, so we're going to go for two. Got Donald Penn, and we do not make the throw effectively, so that is not going to work out for us. Just mistake after mistake after mistake for me on offense. I am playing the worst that I've played in months on offense. I just honestly, I have no excuse. My team just sucks. I suck. I have no words. So we got to pick six on the last drive, but uh, I'm not really feeling too confident in how I'm playing right now. Look at this lag that I'm experiencing right now. I don't know what's going on, but it is just an awful connection that we have. Come on, Reeve. Oh my gosh. Revis is just getting toasted deep. That's the second time this game that he's allowed a 40-yard catch. Oh my god. Really, Revis? Really? I just honestly cannot believe how bad my defense is playing right now. We got that one interception, but other than that, they are just allowing him to throw all over us. Look at this. And it's going to be a touchdown because we just cannot do anything, I guess. I I don't know. I don't I have no I have no answers for you guys. I have no answers. This is probably one of the laggiest games that I have played. But even then, there's still no excuse for that. And finally, we break up a play. So that's going to leave him only up one. But we're starting the fourth quarter here very, very quickly. And I've got to put points on the board. This is an absolutely huge drive here. I need some blocking by my guys. I need to be able to run the ball, run out some clock, and put some points on the board. So that's what we're going to try and do here. And Donald Penn, or who was that? Shannon Sharp can't block Patrick Peterson, apparently. So that's cool. That's really great. I am so used to actually having decent blocking that I don't even know what to do right now. I can't believe how bad my team is blocking, and uh, it's very, very hard to run the ball like this. Look at that. That should be a pancake block for sure, but instead, I have to make like three freaking moves to even gain a yard once I get down the, uh, down the field even a little bit. So I don't know what Shannon Sharp's doing. He's supposed to be a good blocker, but apparently he's just garbage now, and I don't know what to say. This is incredibly frustrating. I have no idea why my guys aren't blocking his, but that's what's happening right now. And finally, we're able to pick up a freaking block, and Cam Newton's off to the races, and that is going to be a touchdown for us. Finally! Finally, we block Shannon Sharp. Thank you. You're only like 140 overall. All right, same thing as before. We need to try and go up seven, so we are going to try and do that. We're going to go with the trusty outside zone here. Let's take a guy and put him in motion. Hopefully, he's able to pick up a block, and he is, and we're in for two. The outside zone works for us, and we're able to pick up the two-point conversion for, for our team to go up a total of seven points now. That is a big, big touchdown and a big two-point conversion as well. First and ten now, and I know he has to pass here. Another screen pass, man. I just, I'm going to have to start committing on the screen pass at this point. Oh, nice play, Patrick Willis. That a boy, pa Sparkle Patrick Willis. You want to stay on my team, don't you, buddy? You want to stay on my team. I knew it. All right, guys. Do or die time. It is fourth and seven. This is the biggest play of the game. If we can make a stop here, it is probably game over. But if not, we are going to be in trouble. And Patrick Willis comes up with the interception. And that is pretty much going to do it here in this game. As long as I'm able to put any points on the board here on offense, we are going to be in great, great shape. Sparkle Patrick Willis comes up huge in the biggest moments of the game. And I am very, very happy about that because I have struggled in this game for sure. Another field goal will end this drive, and he has 126 to come back. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it at this point, but we'll see. I know that he's done a pretty good job on defense, but offensively, he really just has a couple of big catches, and other than that, he hasn't done a whole lot. So with a minute and 18 left, I'm expecting him to try and test us deep again, and he's going to... Come on, let's make a play for once. And of course, he catches it again in double cover. I have no idea what's happening. My players are awful in coverage. What the hell? This is absolutely absurd at this point. If he throws it deep again and completes it, I'm just going to be just livid. 
There's just no way. There's just no way. We're swatting this thing down from now on. I don't know how he's doing this. Another screen pass attempt. Oh, he fumbled. And Derek Thomas is going to recover it. That could be game for us here. And uh, that was a big, big play. I don't know who that was. I think it was Warren Sapp that came through completely untouched. And that is pretty much going to do it in this one as long as they don't overturn that fumble. Big, big play there by Barry. Oh my, look at the, I have no idea what just happened. That was awesome. And now, of course, we're going to lose connection at this point in the game. Of course we are. Okay, your peer has been kicked for excessive griefing. I don't know what that even means, but this game was pretty much over anyway. He had 30 seconds left and he was down 10. I had the ball at, what, the 15-yard line. So that is going to do it for this episode of Pink Slips. I did walk away with the win. I was able to make him pay for going for it on fourth down a couple of times, although I don't think I got any touchdowns out of it. Ugh, I'm frustrated with my offense. But overall, we did walk away with the win, so we can't be too frustrated. I was probably going to score again at the end there if I really wanted to, but uh, I was probably actually just going to run out the clock if I could. But um, anyway, it was a pretty good game overall. Definitely one of the more frustrating games that I've played. I think that there was a lot to do with the lag. I don't want to make excuses or anything like that, but that felt just a snail's pace. I, I honestly don't think I've played a worse connection game in months in this game so that was very irritating i don't think it's my connection because everything else seems to be working fine i played a little bit before this earlier today and i didn't have any problem uh, connecting to people so uh don't know what would be going on i'm not downloading anything or anything like that so i, I don't think the internet problem was on my end i i don't think so anyway so anyway uh like i said close game I am going to keep my cards though, however guys, that just means that there is going to be more for you guys to win over the next couple of weeks because I'm actually going to be doing quite a few giveaways here at the end of Madden 25 Ultimate Team as we lead into Madden 15 Ultimate Team and uh, Madden 15 as a whole I guess I should say because uh, you know obviously I'm not going to need my team for next year. I know there are a lot of people that want to try out some of these players before we move on to the next game so why not give them the opportunity to do that. I've got the tournament coming up here. That's probably going to be starting, I think, maybe on Monday. So over the weekend, we'll probably be in contact with you guys if you were interested in entering. And if you were, of course, pay attention to your, your various different messaging devices. Um, if I know what your Twitter account is, I might hit you up on there. But I'll probably hit you up on PlayStation 4. So try to pay attention to your messages. And uh, we'll try and set up something so that we can make the transaction for the 100k, get you into the tournament, and then you can potentially win Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders and a ton of coins. So, good luck to all of you in that. Uh, congratulations to my opponent who won his playing game earlier, but he wasn't quite able to walk away with the win in this one. I do think that him going for it so many times probably was... Uh, the eventual difference in this game of course that pick six that he threw wasn't a good one either but that was on fourth down he could have definitely punted and been in a much better situation especially considering his defense was playing pretty well so anyways guys with that being said i hope you enjoyed today's game i hope you enjoyed me raging a little bit for a change um but we were still able to walk away with the win so i am happy about that thank you guys so much for tuning in i do appreciate it and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon